Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kosem Fishing. You know, with the current situation, we have a lot more time to be inside, a lot more time to be home. So I thought I'll make best use of the time. So what basic gears I'd want to have in case there's a zombie apocalypse happening throughout the world? Well, I'm an inshore fisherman. That's my favorite thing to do, inshore land-based fishing. So the things that I would want would be the basics or my necessities to keep fishing. Whatever the case is going around, what's going around the world, I still want to be fishing, solar missions or not. So I'm just going to go through my vital supply of the items I think is necessary to be successful in inshore fishing or to have the most fun given the circumstances. So I'll show you what I need, what I think you would need. In case you don't have this stuff and you still want to be doing fishing, solar missions, whatever your case may be, Mr. Monkey is still open. So I think you can make a trip by him, pick up yourself some stuff, you never know what could happen. And of course, fishing is always a way to put food on the table. You could always catch a fish, whether it be it on shore on the beach, a freshwater fish in a river. You could always catch some sort of fish to get some sort of protein. Maybe if you end up eating fish you never eat before, at least it's still a source of protein for you and your family. So these are the basics. Like I said, if you have time, run by Mr. Monkey, pick up these. You can always be sure to catch some kind of fish with it. To start things off, I'll talk about some of the basics. Then I'll get more into the laws and the different techniques I'll be using to catch fish. First of all, every fisherman should have a knife. This knife, I got it at Mr. Monkey. Great thing about this, um, it has a scaler to the back and it's pretty sharp edge. Not too big, use it as a bait knife to clean fish. Basic thing you need in a zombie apocalypse if you have to cook your fish, you need a knife to clean it. Next thing I think you should have is a pair of pliers, a good pair of pliers. This one is particularly important if you have braid, if you're using braid, because it's a braid cutter. But any basic pair of pliers that you can use to de-hook fish or cut line, whatever your circumstance may be, pliers are very important. Of course, you do need fishing line. So if I had to say two to choose from, 30 pound test, you remember it's in shop applications, 30 pound test should be a good one, and then a 10 pound test. This 10 pound test, you can target freshwater fish, um, wabin, wolfish, tilapia, small snook. I mean, like I said, always a way to catch fish. I'll go through some ways you can use the line in a bit. A caster helps you out a lot. I mean, you don't necessarily need this, but if you have you know, if you have a choice of getting it, just get it. Makes fishing on the line a lot easier than this, the hand line. Now, getting into the more specifics. For inshore fishing, I'd say a 4,000 size reel and a seven foot medium, medium heavy rod is a great all round inshore rod. There's a pen pursuit tree, got this side with monkey, but I chose to show this one for it's a fairly affordable com combo. So if you don't have one, you just want to get one to have in case. 4,000 size reel seven foot rod. Inshore, you can catch almost anything with this. Snook, tap one, go for wolf fish. You don't want anything too light, you don't want anything too heavy, because you need to get some casting distance in most instances. So, like I said, economical. You can get a high-end one if you want. There's the Diver BG 4000, of course there's Shimano Stradex 4000, whatever you could afford at the time. 4000 size, even 3000 size should be well. Seven foot, six foot six rod, Great all round reel, rod and reel combo for inshore. Now again, this is something I think everybody should have is leader material. We have 30 pound test, 40 pound test. Basic leader material for inshore, 20 pound test, in case you're targeting smaller snook or something like that. And that's it, basics. Now we're going into terminal tackle. Call this terminal tackle, a subiki rig. This subiki rig here could be the difference between catching a fish or not catching a fish. Microscopic hooks you can use in fresh water. You can also use it in salt water to catch bait to target the bigger fish. So a subiki rig or two always comes in handy. Jumping into my inshore kit, this is a, bit, a random selection of lures, jig heads, sinkers, hooks. Go through it quickly. First thing is some floats. You have these fancy bobbers here. Then you can always use these kind of floats here. This is from a wine cork. Anything that floats could work as a bobber or a float. We have some small sinkers, um, half ounce, one ounce, smaller than that as well. One ounce is always a good all round size, half ounce. If you wanna add some more, you can double up on them. We have small hooks like these. This is like a number 14, 
J-hook, very slightly bigger ones, number eight thereabouts. Um, we have some ala V hooks, these are for the bigger fish. Trio, four ala V, just in case. So a selection of hooks, always good to have. Of course, smaller hooks, you catch any kind of fish. So have a few smaller hooks in your, in your arsenal. In terms of laws, well, you know my go-to in inshore is the DOA calves. Mr. Monkey has a wide selection of these. I think these two are the, my two, if you had to choose two colors, I love my electric chicken, but all around the glow, great color, and then the gold and glow. These are two you should have, that they catch any and everything. Now to go with these, you should have some jig heads, right? So you have your, quarter, your one eight ounce and your quarter ounce. Right, quarter ounce, one eight ounce. It's two basic sizes in jig heads. You can fish almost everywhere with that. So the is jig heads. Necessity, you're catching fish with that for sure. Then I forgot to mention, I have some micro hooks. Can't even see them, but it's like number 20. So in place of the sabiki rig, if you fish in fresh water, number 20, number 18, you can catch acaras, you can catch fresh water sardine. All those things, 10 acaras could make a meal. All right, other than that, in the arsenal, checking out some laws that I think you should have. Spoons, um, a 10 gram, 15 gram spoon. Catches everything, catches anything, beach, river. Your Zuri Twitch Bait, this is the two and three quarter inch, I believe. You can get this for the three and a half inch. Good for inshore again. Catching fish with it in worst case scenarios. We have some soft plastic shrimp. Good as well. Small snook again, key. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, basics. Different kind of laws. We have one or two. Another Yozuri. This is why I caught the snapper with in the, this is why I call this snapper with on, the, on the kayak. This law right here, great for snook as well. So it's good to have a combo of these small hard baits as well. Just so you know you can target some different kinds of fish. Alright guys, so that's basically the essentials I think you should have in case of anything. You will always be catching fish with it. Like I said, knife, pliers, line, if you could get a 4,000 size reel and 7 foot rod, great caster, you could catch fish no matter what. Now to break it down a little further, like a 10 pound test, what you could do with this? If you don't have a rod, if you don't have a hand caster, take about the fast stick, piece of bamboo, piece of PVC, run your line through it, tie your line to the end of it, get a bobber, Something like this, and make a cork line and go in some canal, some river, some pond, dig up some earthworms, drop it in, and I can catch a fish. Basic survival skills, guys. Like I said, they might be that big, but maybe 10 Koskara, but 10 Akaras can make a meal for two or three people. It's protein, it's food, and you never know how things could get. In terms of getting meat and fish, at least you have that option to go for. In terms of other than that, you can start off with this catch a small fish and then use that small fish or bait to target a bigger fish. So you have the 10 pound test and you can get the 30 pound test to target a bigger fish. In short, you have a great opportunity to catch top one, not the big ones, juvenile, 5 pound, 10 pound. Worst case scenario, you can catch them. Wolf fish you can catch as well. Um, you're lucky to get a big snook. You can get catfish, nice big catfish. All these things are possible. So knowing to fish is one thing, but having the basics to use in a situation is another thing. So like I said, if you don't have, you're missing some stuff and just want some basics, visit your tackle shop now while you still could. Get this stuff, have it in your arsenal, and be ready for worst case scenario. You could be the difference between putting food on the table and having no food on the table. I mean, if you have access to a boat, if you have a owner boat, opportunities are much better. You could go out there and catch a lot more fish. For a shore fisherman, someone doesn't have access to it, these are the basics that you can get and use. Some videos to come, hoping to do some demonstrations of how we can do some survival type catches or easy ways to catch fish, no matter what you have. Um, cheap, easy ways, I should say. So hopefully that will come in soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A uh, different video, but just thought I'll talk about it. And just, you know, give any world situation how it is now. We need to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst and you know be able to survive on our own if necessary for some time fishing is a great thing to learn 
It's a great hobby, a great sport, and also a great survival skill. Learn it, and you will be able to eat and feed your family for a long time to come. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have any suggestions for new videos, if anything else you want to see, let me know, and we'll try to get it done. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks as always. Keep fishing. Fish on.